All right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the X33 drone and using your cell phone with the drone to do FPV flying, which is first person view flying, and the ability to capture still images and video from your flights to your cell phone or to an SD card. Um, <clears throat> all right, the process is just to start the drone. We do that by um, clicking the power button on the back goes into startup mode, fast flashing mode. The lights on the drone flash quickly. And then we'll start up the um, controller. There we go, we get a buzz. And the lights on the drone are now solid, indicating we've got a connection to the controller. Um, now we'll bring up our network controls on the phone so we can connect to the Wi-Fi network, which is on the drone. There it is, it's called the X33 drone. So you just connect to that. There we go, we're connected. Go back and we'll start up the X33 drone app. That's this one here, which you've downloaded from your app store, play store, whatever you call it. Uh, and then we just hit play and uh, now we're looking to live feed from the drone. So um, at a distance of um, up to about 100 meters, you can get a live video feed. And then uh, from the app, you can click either this uh, camera icon or this video icon to capture and do it. And we captured a still image, rotate it over here, and hit the video icon. You can see you're getting a countdown. It's beginning to shoot video. We'll move the camera around. So we've got some motion in this video. And then hit it again to stop the video. That's one way of capturing video. And I'll show you the other way, which is the way I prefer to do it, which is just to... Um, use the button on the control that's here on the left hand side this first button if you click it once it'll capture a still image we'll just rotate this around so we get a different view and there we go we've captured a still image and if we click and hold it down for a, a second or two the drone will go into video mode and now we're capturing motion video and then hit that button again and hold it. And it stops taking the video. Uh, now, uh, within the app, you can look at what you've just captured. Here's the um, photo and videos view. And um, there's one of the images we captured. Go back, another image that we captured and then click on the video tab at the top and we'll click on the video here hit play and there's the video we just captured so it's very simple to use it's an hd camera so the quality of the video is pretty good and um, in addition to streaming it live and capturing it to your cell phone you can also use the SD card slot on the side. Put an SD card in there and it'll capture the photos and the videos in a folder called Photos, another folder, folder called Video or Videos. And uh, you can then transfer that data wherever you need to from the SD card. The SD card is formatted FAT32 and um, so that works nicely as well. And um, one other thing, as long as we're looking at the camera and we've got everything connected, this uh, button on the side, these two buttons on the right-hand side of the controller control the camera's up and down uh, pitch motion. So I'm going to click the one on the right, which is pitch down. So here we go. Uh, maybe that's pitch up. There we go. So I'll just show it from the side so you can see it better. 
it rotates down to 90 degrees and then up in steps to direct facing forward. So that's kind of nice. So you can point the camera straight down as you're flying over something and rotate it back up when you want to look straight ahead. So that's what those two buttons do right there on the controller. And um, I think that's good enough for now. All right. Thank you for watching.